The Michael Jordan glazing needs to stop. And listen, I get being a ride or die fan. I consider myself that for LeBron, big time. But whenever I get into a basketball discussion with half of MJ fans, and this discussion happens to include the words Michael Jordan or fucking Michael Jackson because their initials are the same, they do this weird thing where, and I don't know how to put this lightly, they act contrary to what a normal, intelligent human being may act like. So today we're showing why. And before we begin this time, I'm not gonna make this mistake again. I'm going to explicitly say, this video is a joke. It is satire. Okay, MJ fans? So a little while ago, I made this video, this fuckery of a video that I called watching each NBA GOATS highlight videos until I'm impressed where I sarcastically decided to determine the only scientific way to determine the GOAT would be to watch highlight videos until I am impressed. And I sarcastically continued in this video while showing a LeBron shirt to the camera that this would be completely unbiased. Sarcastically. Satirically. And I'll come clean, I do think that LeBron is the GOAT, but the video was for shits and giggles, but not to the MJ fans. Not at all. They came out in full force, and I appreciated it because it drove traffic to the video, so thank you, please continue. But when I read some of those comments, it really gave me the feeling that I have indeed been lobotomized. So let's take a little bit of a look-see here. This guy says, I'm a die-hard Bad Boys fan and can only appreciate Jordan and Bird now. Jordan is the GOAT. Alright, reasonable take, whatever, he has his preferences. It's not very nuanced but we'll let it slide. But the reply to this comment, same, there's only two who belong in the GOAT debate, Bird and Jordan. LeBron's not even close, legacy built on lies and stat padding. He's dirtier than Lambeer and everyone ignores it. First of all, it's kind of a weird hill to die on that the only two people in the GOAT debate are Jordan and Bird. I get Kobe fanboys saying that maybe Kobe's the GOAT, but not even Kareem, not even Magic part of this discussion, whatever. But dog, what NBA are you watching? Because it, it is not the National Basketball Association NBA. You're watching some sort of like seven season drama thriller where LeBron's nickname isn't the king. He is literally an antagonistic ruler of a medieval kingdom. Built on legacy and stat padding, legacy of lies, dog, what? Then we've got this guy. So your view for the GOAT is not based on reality. It's based on the first nicest move you see in a random video. Well, Richie Rich, you're this close to getting it. You're on the right track, you're this close. The comment was this close. But you missed it, buddy. Next time, you got him next time. Take flight like Jordan. Right here. Those MJ highlights aren't even highlights. That was every single game. Every single game. No breaks, no days off. No load management. All right, I get it. You have your opinion. MJ's rad. I think MJ's rad too. In fact, I modeled a lot of my game off of MJ when I was a kid and even now when I play. But dude, listen to what you just wrote. No days off, no breaks. MJ retired three times. Once in 93, took a break. Full seasons, in fact. Once in 98, took a break. And then obviously in 03 when he was done playing. But no breaks. Let's tell the full story here, buddy, if we're having a discussion. And I don't want to keep this video too long, but I do want to go over a personal favorite of mine where this dude says, Hard to put a one-dimensional player in top 10, even if his one great ability to drive to the basket is the best of everyone ever. Thank you. His assists usually come from his ability to hit wide open shooters coming from double and triple teams. His passing is generally not too imaginative. Poor mid-range shooter, not quite average three-point shooter, average three free throw shooter, average rebounder. Pour in the clutch, blah, 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 blah. So the man's argument is not only nitpicky and factually incorrect, but he basically says, well, LeBron isn't skilled. He's like low-key only top 20 because he's LeBron. Any player would be good if he's LeBron. Yes, buddy, LeBron's ability to bend opposing teams' defenses by himself, like Steph, for instance, does indeed make him a good passer if he hits those passes, and he does. He's statistically more clutch in the playoffs than MJ. Midrange, I'll give you that. Free throw, that's always been his bane. But you know who else has more rebounds than LeBron James? Andre Drummond. Per game. 
Why are we not talking about that? Yeah, Bird, I mean, what argument even is this? Not to mention, LeBron is the greatest scorer of all time. Number one in points. So, dogs, I'm I'm not even hating on Jordan. I'm not even hating on you, but like, let's be for real, for real. <laughs> like, legitimately, these comments just give me the sense that the brains have been switched the fuck off. Like, dude, you say anything bad about MJ, boom, full force. Like, it's they they sucker punch you. You don't even know where they fucking came from. You're making a joke of a video, and they got you by the fucking throat. I I couldn't even breathe. And because I'm only slightly petty and I have no enemies. Let me show you what great marketing does for any player, including Michael Jordan. Let me show you your GOAT and just how skilled he is in this video. Price left corner shot on the way, rimming no. Corzine the rebound, up court pass loose, still loose. Michael comes back for the ball, Jordan wrap around dribble. I can't explain what he just did. <laughs> I saw it too and I he, can't. He wrapped it around from his right hand to his right hand. I've never seen that in all my days. I just saw Michael Jordan wrap a dribble around from his right hand to his right hand. <laughs> that's, that's great. I have, I have never. Have you ever? I, today, the first time. <laughs> you saw it yourselves. Behind the back to his right hand. I have never seen anything like it before. Wow. It's really tough for me to tell whether these types of Jordan fans are just reliving their dad's glory days through their father's stories of watching Jordan, or they actually watched him and are like, you know, 40, 50 year old guys who have beef to pick with me in a video that's obviously a joke. But I mean, like those announcers in that video, y'all know who the GOAT is. I have no, I have no further arguments. I'm a, I'm a dumbass. So stay hating. Stay commenting. I love y'all. I'll see you next time. What's up, Ron Ron? Yeah. Yeah, I'm just about pushing out the new, uh, new video for your PR. Yeah, yeah, no, a couple more years and, uh, you'll definitely be unanimous. Yeah, yeah. Oh, for sure. Yeah, just wire me the money. Alright, bye.